All right, so we are at the Utah Retro Game Expo checking out the Atari Asteroids Recharged right here. This is the new dedicated cab for uh, Asteroids Recharged, and this is amazing. And they're going to let me check this out and give my thoughts on this right now. All right, let's see here. So. Okay, rotate and thrust. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna be so bad at this, watch. Ooh, vibration? Okay. There's a pinball knocker, nice. I don't even have to move yet. Okay, I'm gonna move now. Oh, that's sick. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's like a really colorful version of a Vectrex. I like the, the voiceover that's on it. Good music, I love the coloring. I like how the lights are changing with it too. That's awesome. Oh gosh, it got me again. I'm trying to wrap my head around how the things move. Like obviously it's like original asteroids, but it's messing with my brain space. Yeah. Yes, I did a lot better that time though. You did. Okay, so tell me more about this cab now. Tell me more about this. Like what inspired this? What, uh, like why an asteroids recharge cab? So basically asteroids recharge is a, uh, um it's a great game that's all software, and uh -huh. it doesn't have a designated cabinet. We're the first group to do so Okay. Um, of the Recharge series. And basically, Allen One is the company, and we're partnering with Atari to build these. So they are official Atari licensed these products. Are licensed products. This is an actual cabinet that's going to be going out uh, here this fall. So nice. operators and across barcades and stuff like that. So. And are you selling to individuals as well? Yes, we are. We're currently okay. on pre-sale at Atari.com. So if you visit the website, you can actually purchase one of these straight out. Excellent. And what does one of these units cost? $6,499. $6,499. So $6,500. bucks. And then is that shipping on top of that, of course? Actually, with Atari, for the first 40, we're doing free shipping. First so 40 is free shipping. Awesome. Kind of fun. Yeah. That is very cool. So the vinyl itself is actually to be similar to but very strong version of the original vinyls that they used back in the day yeah it has got almost a, a leather kind of feel to it it's, it's nice yeah. yeah it's got that nice grip yeah very nice the buttons are quality what kind of buttons are you guys using in these so we actually have atari volcano buttons and then regular uh feather i believe they're feather switch buttons but okay. i'm not positive on that one the rest of this all the art is custom made by our artist he builds it if you come over here, yeah, let's check out the side. You'll see each side panel that we build is a piece of art. You can see it's actually printed directly on this. That is not vinyl. Oh yeah, okay. That is nice. So it's really, really pretty, really good looking. Feels very premium. Nice, you, the nice classic T molding. Yep. Now, do you guys have any kind of customization options if anybody wanted to do that? We talked about purple T molding potentially. I love purple, so I love I that idea. Say it matches we your do shirt. have a purple one. Yeah. 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 And then we have the other side right here, oh, okay, which is yeah. really, I, I like the dark, I like that dark panel, but basically you have a dark and light panel on either side, and these are, uh, these are the final art iterations. If you go over here, look up top here, the art actually climbs up and over. Oh yeah, and it's seamless transition, it's not multi-piece. Yep. Up and over, and then you can see it on this, where it wraps around the top, that's awesome. So anywhere you look on it, you're getting that sweet artwork. Yep. Very nice. Now, what's powering these? So it's a regular power supply that's going through them. Uh, we, we have, uh, I believe it's the normal plug into the wall, a regular okay. voltage. So we're all set there. I believe it's 140, right? Yeah. The, the inside actually has what we call the IoT tower. So it's okay. a communication board okay. that translates a hard drive signal to the arcade toys. Got it. Okay. So if you open this up, there's shakers. There's a small shaker, there's a large shaker, there's a pinball knocker. Nice. And there is also a uh, wind. So if you hit thrust, it's going to blow on your hands. Oh, that is awesome. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, you'll notice that if you just hold down thrust, you'll start feeling the wind blow. That's but cool. Basically, it's all haptic response, just like a pinball machine would. So, and it's like a like a super, like, JAMA harness basically going in there. Designed from the ground up for this machine? Yeah, correct. Nice. Are you guys going to do other machines as well? Yes. This is like, this is your foot in the door getting it going. This is the first of the Recharge series. We have the contract to do the Recharge series with Atari. This so. is awesome. 
Dude, this is so freaking cool. Yeah. That's sick. What is what is your hope for the next one? What do you what title would you want to do for the next one? Uh, that, that's been a lot of debate. Uh, <laughs> that's a tough question. Uh, yeah. What it was decided is um, Gravatar. Now, what kind of screen is this? 4K. 4K screen, okay. Yeah. And is it OLED or LCD, or what LCD, are we looking at? Yeah. It's an LCD 4K, okay. yeah. So, so one of our goals in getting a, a more higher res screen mm -hmm. was to give the imitation of that CRT screen, the yes. original XY vector type games. It looks great. That, that was the first initial haptic thing was like the vibration. I was like, oh, okay. I've never had an arcade vibrate before. That was yeah. cool. And then what's the power draw on something like this going to be? I guess somewhere between like 300 to 600, somewhere in there. I think it's a little lower. I think it's oh, okay. like 200 ish. To not bad, not bad at all. It doesn't take a ton to run those toys. It really nice. doesn't. So. And you had mentioned that, yeah, everything on here you can connect for an esports league on it. Yes. That is, this is great. I like, the, I like this a lot. This is awesome. So here we have Adam with Alan One, and hey, he's the guy that's helping make all this happen. Now, Adam. Where are people going to be able to get this arcade? So right now you can actually pre-order it on Atari.com, uh, and that would probably work well for those who are collectors. Okay. Uh, but there are arcade distribution companies that exist out there, such as ABS companies, Central Distributing, okay. uh, where you can buy, that, buy it from them too. They will sell to home users. Perfect. They generally sell to commercial arcade yeah, operators, yeah. but they'll sell to anybody. That's so you can pay. set these up for free play or coin op. Yes. Yeah. What about tokens? Do they do that too? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Token so play as well. The coin mechanism inside of the coin door is all you have to switch out for whatever token you're using. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Dude, that, this is, I'm excited about this. So this is excellent. Okay. So the Atari Recharge cabinet, definitely. This was just a quick first look at it. It was very loud in there. So I am back in just the main vendor hall right now. That is an amazing cabinet. They are all going to be coming out very soon. And as you heard, they definitely have plans for more in the future. These are officially licensed arcade cabs and you all have got to check these out.